all yes mm -hmm. just thinking of that uh, light sensitivity yes <laughs> I think I should only sit here for a couple hours and then maybe go back up to the library. Yeah. <laughs> but I realize a week from now I have to go to Jefferson County. Oh. Now I emailed local law enforcement and I would have thought that somebody would have allowed me yes, <laughs> to speak to my sons in Maryland, but you're refusing to enforce the laws. <laughs> well, that looks like insurrection. Oh, a little rebellion on the park right now. Now, um, what was interesting is exactly how does light affect medication because <laughs> I'm sitting here, my whole body's covered because it's, I don't know, probably 40 degrees. Yeah! <laughs> but with the sunlight, it might be closer to 50 degrees. Yes. <laughs> or is it a light sensitivity because of the eyes of the individual and their absorption? You know, did you see my pupils dilate? Now, there's an, a word that uh, means the opposite of dilation. Dilation, as I understand it, means that they get bigger <laughs> because of a lack of sunlight. Yes! <laughs> so that people can see better in the dark. Yeah! <laughs> Why don't we just look at all the artificial light sources? Now, yesterday we went through the ports of all the IP addresses. Yes! <laughs> Could you get me all the tanning salons in every city of the United States of America? <laughs> you know, there are those that really need to look good. And when I first thought about this concept of, <laughs> well, causing people to be pale. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> seemed like somebody was using some broadband and <laughs> the whole pigment of the skin of the individual. Yes. <laughs> but if I'm sitting here covered in clothing from head to toe yes it must be the actual eyesight of the individual known as the client that's taking the antibiotics for the bacterial pneumonia yes. <laughs> now i know it sounds stupid but these artificial light sources yes <laughs> Exactly how many citizens um, inundate themselves with artificial light? Yeah. You'd have to have a tanning bed, pooch, a grow operation. Ouch. <laughs> Let's say you were working in the marijuana industry and you were working in hydroponic grow operations and you had pneumonia. <laughs> I got a fucking donkey. <laughs> You have bacterial pneumonia, do you? Yes. <laughs> and you go to your employer and say, I'm sorry, I can't work in the grow operation. I can't have any artificial light going through my eyes. Yes. <laughs> Why don't you get me all those marijuana farms of every state that's, <laughs> well, let's say you have pneumonia. <laughs> and uh, because there are only so many artificial light sources. Now, <laughs> that sun that's over there, yes, <laughs> that's there every day, isn't it? Yes, it is! <laughs> so... How many different... <laughs>